Today we're going to talk about viscosity. So viscosity is a property of uh, hydrodynamic liquids and we can see this property very clearly when we compare between two liquids. For example, let's say that this baker contains water and the other one contains um, glycerin. And we will perform some experiments. The first experiment that we will pour this liquid in a container by using a funnel. We will observe that the water will pass from the funnel into the container faster than glycerin. The second experiment is that we will drop an object into both containers and we will see which object will reach to the bottom first. We will see that the object which is dropped in water will be faster in such process than glycerin. The last experiment is that we are going to stir both liquids by using a glass rod. And we will find out that water is easier to be stirred than glycerin. So we conclude from that that viscosity represents the property of resistance of the liquid to the motion that's introduced to the liquid from the external environment. And we can explain this in an easier manner. So we'll say that we will have a tube or we will have two layers like this of a solid object and we will have a liquid in between. So this is the liquid trapped between the two layers of solid. And what happens is one of these layers will be static and the other one will move in this direction with a velocity v. So here v equals 0 and here v equals a value. So we will say that this liquid contains um, a huge amount of layers. Some of them are very close to the static layer of solid and due to the molecular attraction between the molecules of the liquid and the molecules of the uh, solid object these layers will be affected by its static velocity or no velocity and they will stay attached to it on the other hand we have the molecules that are very close to the moving layer they will also be attached to such a layer due to the molecular attractions and they will move with a velocity nearly equal to the velocity of this moving uh, layer. And we will have a gradient of velocities ranging from maximum to zero. So we will have something that looks like that. Let's suppose that this layer moved this distance in this direction and the other one is still static as we mentioned and at a point of time we will have something like that the uh, layers that are very close to the static layer are still intact and the other ones moved due to the movement of the upper layer this represents viscosity so we will have a gradient of movements or uh, velocities and we will have a resistance 
So the liquid here is resisting the um, introduced force at the bottom part. This resistance is viscosity. And accordingly, viscosity has a coefficient. So the coefficient of viscosity and we refer to it as eta and eta is defined by, by the force of viscosity so the force of viscosity uh, before saying uh, the equation the force of viscosity is directly proportional to the area of the uh, layer of the liquid that we're dealing with. Also, it's directly proportional to the velocity that the layer is moving with. On the other hand, it's inversely proportional to the distance between um, two layers. So, let's take this layer and that layer. There is a distance between them. If this distance decreases, then the forces of friction will be higher and then the force of viscosity will be higher. On the other hand, if the distance increases, then the friction will be much less and then the viscosity will decrease. This is why it's inversely proportional. So when we have a coefficient, we'll just remove the uh, sign of proportion and say the force, which is viscosity, equals eta which is the coefficient of viscosity so we write a vs here eta multiplied by a which is the area v the velocity divided by the distance and the distance here is the distance between two layers of the liquid so we can say that the coefficient of viscosity equals the force multiplied by the distance divided by the area and the velocity. So finally we can define viscosity as the tangential force that acts on a uh, layer with one unit area to cause a difference in velocity of one unit between um, two layers of the liquid which are separated by one unit of distance. So um, that's it for viscosity. I hope it was easy and until the next time I thank you for watching and see you